get much for that. I could sell the gold nuggets, but I told you I wouldn't, so I won't. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see how much money I have. 1,124. That's good enough. Alright, let me go into first person mode and talk to a guard. Say, hi, I'm willing to pay my debt to society. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch! I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Right, I'm going to pay my gold. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Okay, here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First, we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. Yeah, about that. Now I've got 124, I think, or less. I've got... 84 gold now. Sorry, guys. That's the price you pay for killing people out in the open with a spell that does 100,000 area. Okay. And he looks stupid with that hat hood on. <laughs> okay. Now that I have the opportunity, I'm going to make my Midas. Mark and Recall spells, which is one of the first ones I should have gotten. If I didn't, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, I need all the flawless gems and a gold nugget. This is a modder's, uh, um, this is part of the Midas Magic mod, of course, but it's his way of uh, getting around Oblivion's inability to use Mark and Recall. And I need the miscellaneous codes. Yep. There it is. Flawless Diamond. Wait, let's see if there's anything. Oh. Flawless Diamond, Flawless Pearl, Flawless. Okay, yeah. Alright. I'm going to cut it out where I actually type in all this so you don't have to see it. Okay, with the magic of movie editing, I have uh, gotten all these, so we're going to make the spell now. And... Go with Flare. Okay. Flawless Diamond. Flawless Pearl. Yeah, yeah, all that. Oh, not that. I don't want to give my Crystal of Madness. Oh, so I wouldn't be able to do all the Shivering Isles stances and stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go, and cast Flare. Aryan Residue. Alright, now we have Midas, Astro Mark, and Recall. And that's only a level 2 mysticism spell. So I can cast it without cheat codes. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go with... Mark on this. And recall on this. And I'm going to put my fire drake on something else. And fire drake on... Channel Warrior, that kind of glitches anyway. I think that's one of the reasons why it was glitching last time too much. Okay, now this is pretty cool. And I'm going to save it right here. So I don't have to do that again. Okay, now that we've saved it uh, here, let's save it with a scamp. And when I was playing my other game, my uh, regular character, um, I accidentally deleted the one with the scamps on it. So I'm going to resummon these and make a new save with those. Okay. And I'm gonna make a save. New save. Right there. Alright, now we're protected. And we have the mark and recall. Somewhere. 
Yeah. That's right down here. Okay. <laughs> Scared there for a second. I thought I'd... No, I made it. No, I... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes it glitches and you just don't know. Okay, we're going to try out this Mark and Recall spell. Okay, we're going to mark this spot with Ruby. And we're going to just recall right here. Um, recall lets you come here, even if you haven't marked anything. And all the gems that we used to with the spell, um, you know, ruby, uh, sapphire, topaz, emerald, pearl, whatever. They're all associated with one of these portals. So you can mark this many marks on things and you can have them kind of, you know, it's a lot better than the Morrowind mark and recall. Because in that one only you only had one mark and one recall and then you had omissive and divine intervention which took you to the nearest temple or uh, um, shrine for the Imperials. Okay, I had to reset my mod that I was going to show you, so I'll have to re-sleep and get the sleep um, uh, messages here. So, bear with me here. You've, I've already read them in a previous set. And Lucy and Lachance should be popping up behind me any second. And come on. Come on. No? Well, maybe it'll do it. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Okay, explain yourself now. In due time, dear child. In due time. First, an introduction. I am Lucien Lachance, speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. And you. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. And so, here I am. I come to you with an offering, an opportunity to join our rather unique family. Okay, please continue, Mr. Lachance. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. Now please, listen carefully. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Awesome. Okay, Rufio will die by my hand, or you can say, but I'm no murderer, or you can say nothing and be creepy <laughs> and silent. You know, he's like, okay, I'm going to say the first thing. Excellent. Now please, accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. May it serve your endeavors well. Oh, now, I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again soon. Okay, let's talk about all these subjects that he has. The Dark Brotherhood. Have you not heard of the Dark Brotherhood? Of the remorseless guild of paid assassins and homicidal cutthroats? Join us, and you'll find the Dark Brotherhood to be all that and so much more. We are, more than anything, a union of like-minded individuals. We kill for profit, for enjoyment, and for the glory of the dread father Sithis. We are family with bonds forged in blood and death. Okay, and the friends thing is for a partner's mod, so I can make anybody in the game follow me or whatever, but I'm not doing that. Um, 
to the Night Mother. We praise our unholy matron. From her shadowed womb we were born. From her breast we suckle malice and pain. She loves her children, you see. Yes, I see. Okay. Rufio? Know that Rufio is old and weak and sleeps his days away. You could kill him before he even has a chance to wake, if you so choose. Um, rumors. Dear brother, I do not spread rumors. I create them. Right, speaker. Yes, I am a speaker, a representative of the Dark Brotherhood. My voice is the voice of the Black Hand. Our organization's ruling body. One of my duties is to find exceptional individuals such as yourself and offer a place within our family. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Your path is clear. Send Rufio to his death, and the Dark Brotherhood will embrace you as family. Sweet. All my family died and left me their crappy uh, houses. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, this. I'll be. I'm gonna save it here. Real quick. Let's see right there, so I don't oversave something. All right. You're probably wondering why the music changed for a second. I had to go do something. I was being called away. Oh, and this guy's just standing there because he's invisible. <laughs> okay, music changed. Um, I had to save it real quick and cut that out. So I didn't, you're not missing anything. It just got cut out. So here we go. I'm going to rest three times again. Now this will work because he wasn't interrupting me. Okay, the visions of terrible suffering and all that. Uh, rest, rest, rest. Okay, your dreams are filled with terrible suffering, and then it starts the quest, which is the one I wanted to do in the first place, the terrible, uh, a tale of betrayal, right, make this my active quest. Now, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump off, now you could actually go back to the marker location by clicking on one of those portals, but this is more fun, because the last place that you summoned your, you know, came here with, you can jump, uh, jump off and go back. Okay, there's one other spell I need, because in this mod, the guy keeps on going in the lava. And he's right, kind of a retard that way. And the only way to get him out of the lava without reloading and doing stuff like that is getting the tractor beam... Find it real quick. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, in the alphabetical order, so I can just go to the tornado tractor beam. Okay. I need an astro beacon cap, which is a an item in this mod. Uh, I can get one. Um, flawless pearl. Okay, that's what I need. So we're gonna go back to there, and I'm going to go over there. And I'm gonna just use collision mode uh, mode to do this because I don't have anything right now to. I mean, I could fly over there with the dragon, but this is faster, and I don't want to summon something. I need to go over here. Normally, there's another way of getting over there, and I'll get over there soon enough. It's just this is where the beacon cap is, and I can just go over here and get it. Okay, there's an astro beacon cap, and now I'll jump off. Yep, and I need a flawless pearl, which is in the book again. I need another one.
Pearl. Okay.